All right, sulfonyl dichloride is formed when sulfur dioxide reacts with chlorine, giving you the equation. And we have a ta uh, set of data um, at 298. But we want to calculate the delta G at 600. All right, so we are going to need to use our um, equation that relates the delta G to our H and our S, which is delta G equals delta H minus T delta S. All right, so we're going to have to figure out our delta H and our delta S. And I actually got a delta H value of negative 67.2 kilojoules. And I got an S value of negative 159.3 joules per Kelvin. All right, and then we essentially just plug these into our equation. Convert, make sure the temperature's in Kelvins and make sure we convert our delta S into kilojoules. And when I did this, I ended up with positive 28.38. But since we only had one decimal in all these, I rounded that to 29, or 28.4.